Jim here, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to talk about a regulator that I just got this season. Apex MTX RC, this one, the first and the second stage. And I guess this is the cold water capable one. I don't usually get fancy regulators for myself. This year I did. Um, it is a really slick regulator. And as you know, it is a little bit expensive. Um, it's part of the new Apex line. It comes with this beautiful case that I put away and I'll never use for, for this purpose because all my regulators go into the box. Let me just talk about a few of the really nice features I like. One thing, uh, if you see my regulator video about second stages, uh, it talks about adjusting the cracking pressure and the Venturi adjustment. And I have got to say, these controls are super slick. I mean, this... Uh, this can cracking pressure adjuster it's metal and it is smooth and sure I mean it's it's a very very nice feel this is a bulletproof rig and the other thing that I really like about this is um, it's got this rubberized surface here and it, it, it sticks out a bit it's ridged and opening up opening up the guts man it is really nice Let me put this down uh, actually this this looks just like my uh, XTX50. Most of my, if, if any of the nice regs that I have, they're the older XTX models. So I have mostly XTX50s, I think, was my, my go-to. Uh, the guts pretty much look like my XTXs, although I think this is a smaller footprint. But uh, yeah, the Venturi operation in there is, is pretty much the same. Um, however, I'm able to get in here a lot easier than any of the other uh, older regs. Sometimes they would get salty, crusty, and then you'd need uh, a tool, uh, basically one of those old jar opening tools from when we grew up, one of those pieces of rubber. That that was the best way. There is another tool that Apex makes for that, but yeah, the, the piece of rubber is the way. But this, I am never going to need a tool. This is awesome. And man, this purge button, it is really nice. That's never going to break. Some of my regulators, like the hog, the, these have broken or the the piece comes off. Uh, that is very nice. And over here it has, this is for the anti-icing feature. So you have a few places on the regulator fins for exchanging heat to the environment so it'll be less likely to uh, freeze up. I don't plan on, I mean, there is an ice dive in Hokkaido that I keep flirting with the idea of going up there, but honestly, well, for, <laughs> there's a couple things I don't know. One, um, my my dry suit is, is a nice one. It's a fusion and it's kind of a little bit tight fitting and I kind of wonder if I really bulked up undergarment enough for an ice dive. I'm not sure how comfortable that, that suit would be and also how, how much weight I would need if I had that much undergarment. I'm not sure. So I'm not sure I'm going to do an ice dive, but if I ever do, I'm, I'm, I'm set. Uh, anything else on here? You know, other than that, everything you know, it has the nice, the nice tea. Um, it, it's got the Comfabite, which I love the Comfabite. Let's have a look at the first stage. Actually, truth be told, the first stage is the thing I like least about this regulator, to be honest, because I really, I really didn't know this. Uh, I didn't think about it, but it's, it's a turret. I don't like turrets really, so. Yeah, the reason I don't like turrets is because usually I service my own regs, and this is just another complication. Also, it just makes hose routing, for me, I don't see any net benefit of that for singles, and maybe for doubles. But look at, look at this, so I don't know if I can pop this off easily, but it has a fifth port, I believe, here. Try to pop that off! <laughs> I can't pop it off. <laughs> anyway, there's a fifth port here that's well covered. And that would be for definitely for doubles, right? It's very nice to have um, the hose that's shooting off across the tank, a fifth port, right? The uh, what the Scuba Pro was famous for, maybe being the first to have that. This one's a yoke. I really love. You know, if you don't know, I'm sure you might. I, I, there's a couple things I really love about Apex first stages. One is I love that this is a ball here and not a cup that that covers up the port here and the reason why is so uh, personally I just like just blowing it off instead of that uh, which if you have a cup it's hard to get that last bit of, of salt water out of there right but a ball like this and it's gone the other thing is there's a spare tank o-ring uh, you won't be able to see it no you can see it there there's a spare tank o-ring here I love that 
All right, so there it is. This one, nice and rubberized. On a cold day, that is going to be sure. It's not going to hurt your fingers at all. Um, it's got the usual, right? It's got the a couple, a couple high pressure ports. The position is reasonable. It, this is for ice, so it's it's a, an environmentally sealed second stage. It has a lot of fins all over the place here, and you know, reasonable positions for the low pressure ports. But as I said, I'm not crazy about the turreting feature. Post up below if you if any of you like the turreting, uh, you know, the turrets on the first stage. Do you like that? Why do you like it? I I guess. Yeah, I've never had it. I've always had what the DS4, Apex DS4 first stage is, or the Hog, just D2s, simple, bulletproof, no turret, just a hunk of metal. So maybe I'm not spoiled enough to, to like a turret, but I just don't see any net benefit for me. Um, and in fact, it kind of, if the hoses have a little stress, they kind of rotate into a position I might not like. So that's that's kind of a a bummer. Now one of the things that I am going to say, and this is not scientific and it's not supported, I, I, I'm, I'm probably wrong, but I'm operating under the illusion that this regulator is reducing my air consumption. So I, I don't I, you know I don't calculate my, my air consumption. By the way, I'll put a link uh, in the description on my website, there's a how to calculate your, your air consumption if, if anybody wants to see it. But I have a feeling this second stage is giving me air in smaller bites if I want it. It feels to me like, like my control of how much air that I want to sip out of here feels like it's it's more precise and I, I tell you what since I've gotten this regulator my I don't know I feel like this thing has reduced my air consumption anybody out there if you have this this fancy fancy apex right let me know if, if I'm sure it's in my mind but maybe not I don't know anyway okay all right so there it is the apex MTX RC regulator set i really like it this is a two thumbs up if you if you have the cash and you're thinking about about spilling out for this i don't think you're going to be sorry and if you're if you're going ice diving or, or it doesn't even have to be ice diving i think it's it's rated for what below 10 degrees centigrade i've never had a cold water free flow due to a first stage uh freezing up so I, I don't have experience with that i know that a lot of you north americans are in much colder waters than me you would have much more use for this i just thought you know, I'm, I'm a dealer and why not, you know, it wasn't that much more for me and uh, so I, I splurged for it, why not? Uh, there, was, there was something about this that I liked better than the other one. I can't remember what it was, but anyway. All right, there it is, there, there's a look, uh, you know, uh, splurge for it. So please let me know in the comments, let me know. Uh, the, the swivel turret, are you a, a plus or minus on that? And if you like it, what do you like about it? And I don't know, anything you want to say about the, the ice diving feature about this, the anti-icing, anti let me know. Okay, thanks for listening. I will see you on the beach. Man, she's got to feed the monkey. I, I mean, uh, hasn't that ever occurred to you, man, sir?